If you're watching this message, it's probably because in the words of Ronald Reagan, you didn't leave your party, your party left you. I'm Garrett, I graduated high school in Sanford, Florida, which happens to also be the historical spring training site of Jackie Robinson's Brooklyn Dodgers. I felt that telling the story of Jackie Robinson's political homelessness in the 1960s might reaffirm to us why we think it's essential that Donald Trump lose this election to save the soul of the nation. I voted for John Kasich in the 2016 primary and Hillary Clinton I felt that she would be a better steward of the Constitution than Donald Trump. Robinson felt that compromising certain fundamental principles in order to win an election was ultimately disqualifying. Robinson was a proud Rockefeller Republican up until 1968 when he thought that Richard Nixon was running a campaign of fear and race baiting cloaked in the rhetoric of law and order. Our word hypocrisy comes from the Greek word Hippocrates, which literally means an actor on stage wearing a mask. The president masquerading as a Republican is about as convincing as his tan and his hair. He invited the Taliban to Camp David last year on the anniversary of 9-11 to negotiate with terrorists. This is not Republican value. He compares himself to Lincoln, but in reality, he's closer to another impeached president, Andrew Johnson, who vetoed congressional bills protecting the rights of freed slaves. Just this year, during the protests of George Floyd, President Trump threatened to veto bipartisan defense bills that would rename military bases that were named after Confederate soldiers. He compares his failed COVID response to the legacy of Winston Churchill, but in reality, he's closer to Neville Chamberlain, who downplayed the rising threat of Nazi strength, which became a superpower until it was too late. We have a chance to remove this un-American stain from the White House. We only need to remember our own values. First, we must remember the values of the Declaration, that all Americans are equal in their dignity. Second, we must preserve and protect the values of the Constitution. When the President tear gases protesters in Lafayette Park practicing their First Amendment rights, we have responsibility to dissent as citizens. Only through this dissent may we preserve and protect Lincoln's hope of government of, for, and by the people. A vote for Joe Biden is a vote for this hope. Thank you.